Welcome back, everybody. Remember this name, Jalen Lewis. He's a Bishop O'Dowd product, and in a couple of years, all the major colleges will be knock, knock, knocking on Jalen's door. And while his dad is responsible for a lot of his success, today, both father and son had their mom on their minds. Vern Glenn has more. All right, Dennis, welcome to Fairless Court in Alameda with a story of teammates, best friends, father and son. He's just about winning, and I think that used to be me. Ali Lewis talking about his son, Jalen. My mom passed away when I was two months old. He's been there every step of my journey in life. Jalen talking about dad. Family is around to help, but nothing has replicated the mom, Tiffany, who lost a battle with breast cancer when Jalen was just two months old. Ali made this promise to her. I'm gonna make my, you know, do my best to make sure that the story continues in a, you know, in a positive way and great things happen. Jalen is 15 years old now, a big man among boys as a six foot nine sophomore for Bishop O'Dowd in Oakland. Chris passing here is part of his game. Defense and scoring has earned this student athlete a number two ranking in the coveted ESPN top 100 for the class of 2023. A distinction that already has UC Berkeley and UC Davis already in line for his services. Hey, I've always wanted to do this. Yeah! That spot only means that I have a target on my back, mm -hmm. so I, I'm definitely not gonna just embrace it now. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working, and act like I was just before. I'm gonna act like I don't even have a ranking when I'm in the gym. That approach shows the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ali Lewis was a six foot six star forward for Oakland High School and took his talents to Davis in the mid 1980s. His coach called him the best athlete he had on the team. Dad did lament this in our interview. He's better than I was when I was in the ninth grade. Whoa, did you hear that? <laughs> wow, what, what, what do you think of that, Jalen? Wow, and, and I have that recorded. <laughs> then the stories came out. Jalen's fourth grade coach, after dominating a game. He said, did you see what I just saw? I said, yeah, I think I did. And I think I did like a between the legs behind the back to like a baseline reverse layup, and I was like, Ooh, that was nice. The day the son surpassed the father at Mosswood Park. He was getting on me the whole workout about going strong. So once I once I went strong through him, when he thought he was about to block me, I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't go over me anymore. <laughs> Although Ali's back may slow him down, son Jalen is still trying to instill dad's unbending will to his DNA. I would just want to embrace his perseverance and his strength. I just try to tell him, you know, play hard, play hard defense, and get rebounds every game, and you will have a good game every single game. Together, they have the makings of a potent father-son, two-man team. I can hover around and pass him the ball. Do some and he, pick and roll. Yeah. <laughs> My jumper's still nice, too. My jumper's still nice, so I can do that with a bad back. <laughs> Jalen wants to follow the footsteps of his father and his grandfather, who played college basketball for Texas Southern in the late 1940s. In Alameda for game day, I'm Vern Glenn.